Thomas Sowell is an inspiration to all who have met him. His catalog of academic achievements and professional accomplishments is beyond impressive. While he is a storied academic today, he owes his staggering success to one activity, reading. My whole career would not have been possible without the particular family in which I was raised, which was not composed of educated people. I mean, nobody in that family had ever graduated from high school, and most did not graduate from grade school. But they were interested in education, and they were interested in me. It was that loving family who helped Sol focus on success that wound up moving with him to New York City, a migration for young Tom that would change his life. When Thomas Sowell was eight years old, his family moved from North Carolina to New York City and settled here at 720 St. Nicholas Avenue in the neighborhood of Harlem. We were much poorer than the people in Harlem or almost anywhere else today. It was my last uh, year or two there at home that we finally had a telephone. We had a radio, we never had a television. But in the sense of the things you need to get ahead, I was enormously more fortunate than most uh, black kids today. While coming of age in Harlem, Sol discovered the magic of education thanks to a family friend named Eddie Mapp. In Harlem, there was a kid named Eddie that members of the family had run into before I ever arrived from North Carolina. He came from a highly educated family, and they immediately saw the implications if they, if they could get him to mentor me. Eddie brought Tom to the Harlem Public Library. He taught him how to find books that interested him, taught him how to check them out. And I saw all these books, and I had no idea why we were there when I didn't have any money to buy one book. And so what am I going to do with all these you know, hundreds of books up on the shelf? Crossing this threshold to this new world was the first step on a path young Tommy might not have otherwise taken. And he very patiently walked me through the whole thing. And again, I was very reluctant to take out a library card because I didn't know what, what all this is about. But he talked me into it. And I borrowed a couple of books. And really, had I not encountered him, the, the entire rest of the story could not have been the way it was. I mean, at some point, I would have learned what a public library was. But by that point, it would be too late. When you start getting in the habit of reading when you're eight years old, that's a different ball game than if you have to wait till you're a teenager and it's too late now. 